Hello everyone, here we are today with Gladys Berenger, volunteer from Our Kids Count. Gladys, how's your summer going? It's been wonderful. It's The weather seems to be cooperating. Hopefully we'll be getting some nicer days. Awesome. Well, the one weather goodness that we're looking for is on a specific weekend in August. What's going on? So, the Thunder Bay knows that we're bringing Rib Fest back to the community. It's going to be an in-person event this year, so it's the last weekend in August, August 26, 7 and 8, and it's going to be right here on the CLE grounds. That's awesome, kind of mixing it up. It's been a crazy couple of years, so now having an in-person event is fabulous. We're, we're truly excited about that. Uh, people have been looking for things to do, and now we can do in person. We almost were able to do one last year, but then of course it, uh, those with waves keep hitting us, and so we, but this year so far, uh, everything is a go, and we're looking forward to having everybody come down. It'll be scaled down to what we did back in 2019, but at least we'll be in person. That's awesome. So tell, for people who haven't been to Rib, Rib Fest before, just give us an idea of what they can expect when they get here. Uh, so what's going to be happening is we have two professional ribbers that will be joining us from out of town. Uh, Ribs Royale, who's been a Thunder Bay favorite, will be back, and Dinosaur Smokehouse. Uh, so he's bringing up his two full professional teams of ribbers. And alongside, we always need to keep things local, so Daytona's will be once again providing our local ribber in Ribbers Row. And uh, we have two out-of-town vendors that will be joining us this year. Uh, Twisted Taters, which has been a big favorite. You see people walking with a big stick of uh, tomato, uh, potato <laughs> on. He'll be back. And also the Blooming Onion. So two uh, favorites for uh, festivals. Oh, and those two things go so well with ribs. Perfect choices. That's awesome. Now, is, uh, is there a cost to attend or how does that work? No, the entire weekend is free. Uh, the, you come and you enjoy the ribs. The cost, of course, is what you're going to be spending. So there's a free event. Uh, we will be having a live entertainment as well every evening uh, for people to sit down and enjoy while they're enjoying their ribs. And the beer garden, of course, will be back. Uh, if ribs isn't your thing, we have uh, a bunch of local vendors. We'll also be providing some different choices uh, for ribs, and especially for kids. Kids not, don't always like ribs, so there'll be the usual French fries and the twisted cones and the things that kids look forward to. That sounds awesome. So the last that's the last weekend of August, isn't it? I think I'm trying to, and no fee to attend, but you just spend what you spend here. And proceeds for the event, this is the big important thing. Where do those go? So this is the largest fundraiser for Our Kids Count. So all the funds raised will go to uh, support the programs that Our Kids Count offers. Uh, what they'll be doing in addition is they will have their 50-50 uh, uh, draw going as well. Uh, last year's winner, I think, took home over $17,000. So uh, we're hoping with an in-person event that might uh, bump it up a bit. We'll see what happens this year, but uh, that's another way that they'll be generating some funds. That sounds fabulous, Gladys. Thank you so much. We're looking forward to it. My stomach's growling already. It sounds like a magnificent event. And for Shaw Spotlight, I'm Carrie Berlinquit.